Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn the Excel round off formula. Before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is round off formula in Excel. Now for this particular tutorial, we will be using the student dataset. Now, Let's get back to the practical mode and start our Microsoft Excel. Now we are in the Microsoft Excel and as you can see on my sheet, okay, let me expand this. So as you can see on my screen, we have the data set belonging to students. So we have 10 students and every one of them has name, roll number, class, blood group and marks, etc. And at the end we have the percentage. And as you can see, we have the percentage in terms of float values and we have a lot of decimal values like 8 and above. So what if you wanted to just have one or two digits after the actual percentage like 80.6 or 80.66, right? It would be a little bit more or good to read, right? So that's what a round off actually means. So now let's work on having rounded off values for the percentage. Now let's create a new column. Let's name it as uh, round off percentage. Great. So to actually perform the round off uh, formula, we do have a predefined method for that. For that, you just have to type in equals to round and there you go we have round up and a round down so both of them perform the same operation let's select a round up and this is the m column and the row number is 3 so we'll have to press m3 and the number of values after the decimal point so now let's select um, 1 and there you go Press enter and the value should be rounded off. Now 80.66 is being rounded off to 80.7. Now when you drag the cell to the all the rows, then you can see all the values will be rounded off. Here you can see 75.16 has been rounded off to 75.2 and 82.33 has been rounded off to 82.4. So we end up with having rounded off values. So with that, we have come to an end of this round of formula in Excel. And if you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this particular session, then please feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.